evening YouTubers. So I'm going to show you how to uh, install NBox on your Nixbox. As you can see here, we're taking a look at uh, the website. There's the uh, YouTube video. It has been showing up for me uh, for some reason in uh, Budgie. I think it's because the DNS for some reason wasn't resolving. Uh, you can see this instruction here. We're going to just copy that. Don't copy the dollar sign. You don't want the dollar sign. Now, you can see here, yep, not going to happen. You've got to do it with sudo. Sudo. Yep, and double ampersand for previous command there in case you want to know. I'm going to enter my password incorrectly here by accident. And it's just a test box, uh, so you can uh, expect that uh, the password is not going to um, be always in uh, muscle memory. So you can see here it's just going to indicate how much it needs to download. This is just the installer, mind you. Now I've got to say, um, since uh, last time I uh, installed this, uh, things have gotten a bit smoother. I used to have to run a bunch of uh, other commands, but um, that's not the case. The installer does... Uh, every, in fact, installing the installer um, prompts for installation. It, uh, it works. So just give this a moment to to do its thing. We're almost there, about 13 seconds away. You can have a look at the website there. There is a video in the center showing you what happens, but this is a bit more of a familiar feel for you guys. You'll notice today I don't have the um, uh, the video of myself up. Um, that's simply because recording time might be over uh, the amount of time that my video recorder allows. So we're just going to click 1. We're going to press 1 because it's offering us to install. And you go, I agree, in capitals. And then it starts doing the work. Now I have some updates that I need to do on this. So, I guess we can have some fun in the meantime. Meow? Give me a meow. Give me a meow. You're famous now, buddy. Whoa! So now the, uh, the updater, that's um, apt to get, no aptitude here. Um, that's nothing about my uh, particular skill in producing videos, mind you, no pun intended. Uh, it's um, just doing the uh, installation of the updates and it. Uh, uh, will also complete uh, any installation that it needs to do. This is a bit of an extraneous um, step, an additional step but nonetheless required uh, for the purpose of installing uh, the snap image uh, that's required for Nbox to work. Now they do say that at some point in future Flatpak might be supported which will make it uh, uh, somewhat familiar to Fedora users to uh, conduct that installation, but I, at present I believe that's not the case. So, just doing the final steps uh, that are typical for an update. With the uh, update grub. Yeah, it's found a whole bunch of stuff. Biggest belief how much stuff I've got on this machine. But there you go, see, uh, it's adding a um, repository, this Morphous one, it's added the relevant keys, and now it's doing the job that it needs to do. So by default it's added a uh, PPA by the looks of it, or added a repository, maybe not a PPA, oh yes, a PPA, yes. So just some uh, final downloads to, uh, uh, to perform. And now it's just doing the further progress, just uh, conducting that installation. And believe it or not, this is uh, pretty much just um, uh, getting you to the point of a vanilla Android uh, compatibility layer install. And uh, the next steps will 
obviously involve uh, testing that out. I saw an Ashmam Linux issue, some sort of module issue. I don't have an answer, I've not been able to replicate it. Uh, that was on uh, the Anbox video I just recently did, there was a comment. Uh, so far everything working very well, Mod Pro Binder Linux, Mod Pro Ashmem Linux. Maybe that person's running a custom kernel, not sure. And at this point, what I might do is get things to roll a little quicker. So why not create a new session and uh, get some things, some things done while we're at it. We're going to need ADB. Okay, no aptitude here again, as I said. We'll search for ADB. Unfortunately, you watch this. Whoa, a few too many results, so let's grab that. Yep. So let's just get the uh, Android Tools ADB installed. That will give us the facility to install and uninstall applications from our Anbox installation. And now it's time just to go back and take a look at how the progress is going uh, on that uh, snap install. Again, as I say, in my previous installation of this, I needed to do all this myself, the snap install, edge dev mode, Anbox, all that sort of stuff. I, I had to do that uh, uh, myself to an extent anyway. Take a look at these links. It'll be very interesting when it runs in a phone, or when we can actually see it running in a phone, they say it does. Let's have a look, you can see I'm just having a bit of a squiz at uh, some of the install other install guides out there. You can take a look. A few bits and bobs, there's the vanilla website there in purple. And looks like we're done. We're installed. But now we're going to have to navigate to the relevant place in the file system, uh, relevant location, and find out what we can do. But uh, of course, what we're going to need to do, and I made a mistake at this point, is try to run Anbox Installer as the root user. And watch, surprise, surprise. Yeah. Watch this. Kachunka. Segfault. Container's not running. So, just back out of there with a con quick control D. And now we're running. We're cooking with gas. So we'll need to go back to that file system, as I said. Just give this a moment to, uh, to do so. And have a bit of a look-see. Uh, yes, of course. We're going to need to install at least to get some applications on there, some apps on there, we're going to actually need to install uh, F-Droid. F-Droid is uh, something that I believe all Android users should have. It's the first port of call for free and open source software on Android and it provides an opportunity for you to if you wish to, to avoid proprietary software. I'm just navigating my way, you might want to take a look at that. And we we'll notice some interesting uh, issues going on here that didn't uh, turn up when I did my previous installation. And that is uh, curious that some of the icons are uh, blanked out with generic icons and this is not going to work because it's a PNG. So let's take a look. At this point I'm trying to actually find the uh, list view. Not, uh, yeah, and I probably could have uh, chosen that uh, list view to the uh, to the right there, but I, I missed it on the way through. When I put, when you go on that drop down menu, and it looks like a menu icon, it was probably the right thing to do. But I'm just having a bit of a fish around anyway. And as usual, when I get frustrated, what ends up inevitably happening is I have a bit of a play around, like all of you guys should. And look at that, it's not trusted. They're saying it's not trusted, but that means something else, doesn't it? It's uh, 
nonsense speak for something else. So let's have a look. Have a look at its properties. Just give that a moment. As I start kind of work it out. Oh, let's have a look. Permissions. Oh, we're not allowing it to execute file as program. So out of the box, you can see there, there is a bit of an issue. I tried to um, just get all of these done in one fell swoop. And voila, nothing happens. Sweet, huh? I tell you, these GUIs. Oh, and that worked. But who wants to do that all day? No. So we'll just open Terminal here. It's a nice feature of their uh, file manager under Budgie. And we can have a look at all the items, the desktop items. And look at that. Only execute permissions on the one that I, I performed via the GUI. So at that point we know that it's probably the execute issue going on here. And a couple of snafus. In, yeah, these things happen when you're making uh, videos, you sort of make mistakes here and there, but nonetheless, go back in, and things are still not good. Why? Because only changed the owner to having the permissions, and for some reason this matters. You see? The owner has the uh, execute permissions, but not, so I'm just going to make all of them have it. And we're done. Look at that. Now, now we've got access to all of our applications. I've got to tell you, this ran, runs a bit like a dog. At the moment anyway, and it does put a bit of load on my CPU. And here's me trying to, I'm about to try and type F, F droid, uh, not F droid, uh, droid fish into uh, into the search of uh, F droid and it is slow. We eventually get there, things tend to speed up a little bit later, so I don't think it's going to be molasses the whole way. You can tell my frustration. So anyway, we do the uh, install, just give it a good click. And you can see this is a uh, port of the Cuckoo uh, Appleter engine. But in fact, it has the best open source, free and open source chess engine in it called Stockfish. So we're going to have to change the settings because it's not going to allow foreign apps by default. So we just go OK, unknown sources. And here's a trick, a quick trick. Um, that's not going to work. That's not going to work at all. You have to press escape. I worked that out for myself. You have to press escape to get and go backwards. So now it's ready to run and things are running pretty smoothly. I mean, we can have a quick game of chess just now. I'm not going to obviously bore you with a full game of chess, but yeah, you can just see that it is quite responsive here. Beautiful. Great. So we can just close that. What else is there to do? Let's have a look. Let's have a few applications there. And I decided now at this point, I'm going to install um, WhatsApp just to show you that you can install others. It's not just limited to free and open source applications. Of course, WhatsApp is a proprietary application. Very popular though. For people who are avoiding mobile phone costs and prefer in preference to data costs. So it's, it's not going to take long on my uh, network connection. 12 seconds or so, give that a moment, and we are going to use ADB, so I'm just checking here, and we can just watch what's going on, and there you go, WhatsApp is now downloaded, and we can install via ADB again. I tried tab completion and it didn't work. So, fantastic. So, next steps is to find out again that we've got the same problem. So, it looks like the masking on here does not allow execute bit when a new file is created. So, we're going to need to change 
change that there you can see so back to the command line we go well, good old command line I just prefer doing things this way do a bit of a chmod a plus x good And I'm just realizing at this point again that uh, tab completion is not, uh, uh, not working for me, but that's not because of its fault. It's actually my fault this time. just didn't have the full file name there. And of course, we need to do good old Peter. Peter's droid fish. Good. So, just minimize all those. And now... We can open WhatsApp. Oh, just a bit of droid fish first. Look at that bug. Yeah. Better not use those snapping windows when you're using Anbox. It's not working. But WhatsApp is. Yes, it's going to complain that you're using a custom ROM, not a uh, OEM ROM, and I'm not going to install install it uh, fully at this point. I'm, well, the installation's done, but I'm not going to put my phone number in. So that's about it, guys. I'm pretty happy with how it went. I hope you are. That's pretty much how the install goes. At this point, what you're going to do is you're going to exit out of the uh, session manager, and you're going to realize that you cannot run any more applications once you do that. So the session manager is actually required. So if you like this video, please press that like button. If you would like to receive more of this content, please set, press the subscribe button. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there. Good night now.